Happy New Year's, guys. Moonville, shut down. Sayori, I don't. I saw the translations, okay, for the lyrics. I added it on to this music video. So you guys will see the English translations for every freaking line while the music video is playing because they don't have the English subtitles up on YouTube yet. And I don't know if that's on purpose or they're just always late. It'll be very interesting to see how this one plays out. But here it is. I hope you guys enjoy the reaction. Pikachu! Ooh. Oh, this is old school, huh? Okay, first of all, I love the intro. It's got like this old school R&B kind of vibe. That, uh, you know me, I freaking love it. And I guess she got sent back to the freaking 70s. I don't, like, what is that? What is that thing on the table? Oh, I like how there's an iPhone though. <laughs> That's when you know you're in the present. She just has old taste. Oh, she's thinking about it. So someone uh, asked me on stream, what does the untie my tight knot mean? I guess in one hand it could mean like massage when you're like you have tight knots in your muscles and that's why you need to massage them. So she wants like to someone to relieve her stress perhaps. Or it could be in reference to the poster cover where there's like a red string on her pinky and then it kind of leads into the window. That's in reference to like this red string of fate. There's only two ends to a string, right? So one end is to will tie to one person's pinky and the other one ties to another person's pinky. And that just means that they're destined for each other. Give it to me, Ooh! She's like, give it to me! The night is too short! Oh! oh! <laughs> yeah, I don't understand how this could be a lyric. You can ruin me. She said, English, you can ruin me. Oh my god. Oh, how, why is she here all of a sudden? That's so wild. This is so wild to me. She's like looking at her. Oh my god, she's a ton from my waist. To where? To where? To where? Hold my waist to where? Oh my god, I can't. Need a fan. Oh, that was weird quality. Oh, it's a TV, everyone. What gets rougher? Excuse me? If the waterways become a bit stronger, touches will become rougher. Oh, yo! This hardcore rap, this is freaking wild. This is literally... Uh, Picasso. Did you know Picasso was a playboy, even though he was, like, ugly? <laughs> Uh, he just had like this confidence in him. So like a lot of his models ended up sleeping with him even though like he had a wife. Picasso's a playboy. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what that means. A drawing becomes red. Oh, you could ruin me. Why is she looking at her like that? Oh my god, I can't. What happened to her cereal? Can, sorry, I gotta go back. 
Oh, our cereal's still with her. Okay, sorry. Oh my god. Eat your damn- Why are you eating your cereal? Why is she grinding up? Oh, it's for coffee. I don't understand this music video. She's paying zero attention to her. It's nighttime now. Did she just have a bowl of cereal for the whole entire day and she's still eating it? Because <laughs> it was morning in the other <laughs> Someone said, I don't know if you can see that, but someone said that she's looking through Fan Cafe. <laughs> well, <laughs> she's right there. She's still not done! She's still not done. Oh, it's morning. A cereal is like literally 24 hours old. Oh, that Moonbill's singing? Okay. Oh, now she's here. She's here now. I'm so lost. Is anyone else lost? I'm lost. I'm so lost. I don't even understand. <laughs> I don't understand. You guys, I'm broken. <laughs> I don't even I don't know. I don't know. It's, a, <laughs> it's a danger. This is so dangerous. <laughs> this is like a big... <laughs> I need a danger sign because I think um, every suffix has passed away with this song. <laughs> my favorite lyric, oh my god, ha probably has to be row in you. I'm an experienced rower. Damn, right to the punch. That's wild. That is. I don't, I don't even know what that means, but it seems raunchy. <laughs> Obviously, we all know this has to be about lesbian sex. It has to be about that. I don't, I couldn't even think of how this could be platonic <laughs> at all, right? Either way, this doesn't necessarily mean that this is Moonbill's personal story. Right? Yeah, she wrote the lyrics. Yeah, I know. She said that's in English. It's and you know, they're both women singing this. We're all free to interpret the song in the way that you wanted to, of course. Either she wrote the lyrics, had this song in her album, so that her gay fandom can have a song to listen to and like directly relate to it doesn't necessarily mean that she's also gay. I've also thought like if artists music are always being said by them, like they're not always, it's not always their piece of work, you know? There are ghost writers. There's other people that r compose the songs for them or write the lyrics for them. Why don't they have someone maybe that is gay write their own song, but they just need the right voice to actually sing it, and that would be Mumio and Sayori. So, I guess it's one possibility. I don't know. I don't know how to honestly support her other than just listening to the song all the time. I don't know if she wants us to have an opinion. You know, like, why not? Like, you know, it's our interpretation of the song that she posted. There's no official post saying that Hey, this is my coming out song. I don't, I, I'm going to choose to just simply supporting her by listening to the song and saying that I enjoy the song and that's it. I don't really like assuming people's sexuality unless they come out 
with whatever their sexuality is. It's really not in anyone's place. So that's what I'll go with after many, many thinking of <laughs> this song. <laughs> but I'm so amazed that she even came out with this type of song. I've never heard any gay lyrics to a K-pop song. Like maybe gay music videos like Queen's Goodbye. There's plenty of actually other gay music videos where they've been hinting towards that, but I can't remember the artists or the song, but I remember it so clearly. There's this really hot actor where they're about to have a wedding. The main character, and they made it seem like he's in love with the bride-to-be, but he ends up falling in love or being in love with the groom-to-be. And he's just pretending that all is well. I think it was by K. Will. If you guys know the song, let me know. But it was a really cool music video. Because I've never even seen that. Exposure for the LGBTQ plus community in Korea. Because they're usually conservative, right? So I always think it's very cool. I hope they'll legalize gay marriage one day. And I give all my thoughts and prayers to the sapphics that have listened to this song and died. Thank you so much for tuning in to the 9 o'clock show that never starts at night. I'll see you guys next video. <laughs> Love you. Bye!